life here. He loses the fairy fire. Is he gonna keep on fighting? Yes, with the overcharge, the arrow starts healing him up, and the storm dies down to Mickey. Now, the Tusk really wants to skill, but won't grab it. Mickey ensures that he stays himself or that he stays alive thanks to Tiger's healing. Going for the Enigma, the Terror is annoying them, and they kill the Enigma off in time. No, but they might be able to finish off the poor Murana. The impetus will kill her off. Goodbye, Murana. As Bloodseeker falls the storm, he's been silenced. He actually can't fall lining anywhere. They get the black hole. It's only on the Ursa, but it's sufficient. The Ursa will go down. The snowballs are not good enough. The water sponge also doesn't stop the black hole in time. And the freezing field from Insania ensures the enchantments will go down, and everyone in backpacks is destroyed by a freezing death. As Mickey cleans up the floor of anyone that is not an Alliance player. If they can kill Mickey here, it'd be great. He has buyback right now in two seconds, but they can still just force it out of him. A toss is actually helping them out. Eats the cheese. Mickey was a surprise. Time lapse though saves the Weaver now. In the background, they want to deal with Taiga, but now it's Scandal going down. He has buyback, but he didn't really want to lose it now. He kill off Taiga for Scandal. Really not a worthwhile fight. Bloodseekers keeps on hitting Mickey. It's hitting really hard. Deals with the Drow Rage that slow will not stop him. Murs him in three hits, and he's just killing everything around him. Mickey running around like he's a Formula One driver with a death wish, and he's gonna find the TA a second time. It's a dieback. Mickey with a triple kill. He's gonna get a double rampage. Yes, it will happen. They have the tree protector. The Yo Scepter will save him. Oh, whoa, Quikva stealing that unstoppable. Sorry, stealing that kill. Not letting Mickey get the rampage. Who cares? Mickey has the rampage in his heart. With a swap, they try to kill off his god, but they can't. Mata Style is ready, and he will kill Drive Ranger a second time as well. Meanwhile, dealing with the, the Scragglers here from Megalotta, and the GG World Blade will be called. Alliance is simply too much to deal with. Mickey's too quick, Mickey's too fast, and Mickey's too strong right now. There's nothing they can do against Alliance. Alliance takes the second game, winning the best of three. But in the top lane, they're going to go for this poor Pugna. Another ward being dropped off. What is the... Okay, trying to stun out, Curse Crown, gonna hit the Gyrocopter, but at the same time, the Necrophone has finally joined the fray, and they're gonna manage to kill off both the Pugna and the Dark Willow, and this Winter Wyvern, a simple double kill for the Gyrocopter, you know, he's really bothered, he's just... Like, it's not the Weaver in time. Yes, that's a dead Weaver. Good job. Now, Taiga comes in with a beautiful board match on the floor. Taiga also gets the Geomantic Grip. Dies for this. And it's totally worth it. Getting a team wipe potentially. Going for the Trim Protector as well. In comes the TA back. She blinks in time. They were not expecting this box. It still controls her though. And now TA has been silenced up. It could be destroyed. Time lapse will fly back from the Weaver. Saves her teammates. And the TA will eventually die to the double silence there. Boxy now finally gets the Weaver alone, gets the bug out of him. That's the goal, at least. And Sadia doesn't want to die here. Weaver still wants to get the last kill, and Sadia gets the Invis Rune. So lucky! Saves him from this insect. And it's a rampage for the Bloodseeker. Make sure this buyback becomes a dieback. That's why you don't buy back time lapse Weaver. They do manage to call the Wind Weaver. How did he. Oh, Arctic Burn. Went up there. They had a ward up there, so it's no big deal. Ghost Shroud now used. Clint's can't kill him. The Callout's coming in. And there's a straight gone, which means this Clint is very vulnerable to the Gyrocopter's damage. Goodbye, Clinks. As Poipa continues on forward. Two Sirens, the next objective. This poor Pugna will also go down. Holy Miss while she stops the four Dark Willow on her tracks while she's Shadow Rolled up. And they want to go next to her. Rocker Rush being used. Goodbye to Dark Willow as well. Uh, uh Max Thurston has some damage. Uh, they can eat Black Hole again. The Ursa and the Storm. How does he keep doing it? He grabs both of them with a freezing fuel. Terrorize won't do anything to it. He can beat up Crystal Maiden. They rupture the storm, so he's forced out with a ball lightning. They want to catch out more. They check the next target. Mickey actually runs faster than the storm can ball lightning himself to safety. They're going to catch the trick. Or Muriel needs to be overgrown. It's going to be enough. Swap to save him. And the blood right might catch a venture spirit. No. Oh, the boulder smash will, though. Boulder smash. Actually, what? Taiga, the combo. Rolls onto the tree. Deforestation here. Gets the gem like it's no big deal. Black hole! This is perfect! Black hole freezing kill again, but they catch three in it this time! And the storm is one of those three people. He revives, but they have a way to control him for now. They're going for the enchanters. They don't care about the storm. He's too, too slippery. Enchanter seems like an easier target. The bed lamp will it stop him. It might kill Taiga. Taiga surviving for now. The storm comes back in. The enchanters finally goes down. Mickey surviving all this damage. And now going for his arch enemy, the storm. Malefice keeps him in place. The silence! It's Alliance getting the near team wipe. Only Dark Willow survives. Ooh, they're really taking down the mobility. As they kill the Winter Wyvern in the backline, so spirits keep giving vision. Taiga, don't mess with Taiga's balls, they say, as they go into the jungle, or sorry, the forest of trees, trying to find the Dark Willow, and they murder the witch. That's what they're trying to do. Alliance, go in. Too quick. They do lose the ball, but it doesn't really matter. Gyrocopter's there to avenge him. 
wants to kill off Haze, wants to kill off the Willow. Doesn't have Rocket Barrage? Yes, he did activate it before the fear. Because he might be afraid, but the rockets come out anyway. I don't know if that's gonna work out. Brutal or Neclinks. Shirecolor comes back in this time with a TP. They can play this. Reaper Scythe destroys the Clinks and the Pugna as well. Back to the realm of the dead. Brood Mother also falls. And now it's time. Alliance really has to be careful. It was a good setup, but Clinks is still alive. He has a strafe. Tries to kill the IO. But Taiga, Taiga just kiting him around the Yule Scepter. And the rest of Alliance is covering for the lack of Mickey. They don't really need him. The GG well played is gonna be called.